Hi, it's Paul from Hench Herbivore with my vegan bodybuilder kitchen. Oh. If you want to optimize your health or sports performance without harming animals or the environment, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified of new uploads. If you definitely want to have rubbish health throughout multiple systems of your body, keep using tap water with the chloride, which kills your good bacteria. If you don't want that and you actually want good health, Berkey Water Systems is my recommendation. You can use like any sort of a filler or a distiller, you can use bottled water, etc. This is about the cheapest way to do it and it's one of the top rated filters on the market. It's amazing. Link in the description if you want to check that out. Berkey. We're just going to go around the kitchen. The next thing we come across is a couple of melons, really good for eating. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some basil on the go there. Aloe plant, you can use that for all sorts of kind of healing, medicinal stuff. Bananas, various stages of ripening. Butternut squash, got a load of ginger on the go, great anti-inflammatory. Red onion, 76% more antioxidants than a white onion. Vitamix, best smoothie maker on the market, IMO. Then we go in the cupboards. Peanuts! Peanuts! <laughs> What are these? Nuts, pecans. Pecans, whole chestnuts. Mixed nuts. Mixed nuts. <laughs> Slithered almonds. <laughs> Got some naked bars, this is Bakewell tart flavour. Don't have them often, but they make a nice little change. My friend Anna brought us some dried banana around. Sunflower seeds, very good. Peanut bar, that's like a nice natural one. Black sesame seeds. There's a little protein bar. Got cocoa solids in, so not great for heart health, but I may eat that once in a blue moon. Walnuts. Here's some dates with some peanut butter in that someone's uh, made earlier. That's someone with me. Good old Brazil nuts. Sultanas. I like to use dried fruit in place of like sugars and things in like porridge, stuff like that. A bit more peanut butter. Good old chia seeds. Make sure you grind those or you don't absorb any of the omega-3. Same with your flax seeds. Here we've got brown and golden. Some people call them lin seeds. What are these gem hemp pots? Uh, sesame seeds. Oh yeah, sesame seeds. Beetroot powder, sometimes use that for smoothie bowls. Cacao nibs, it's got the long chain triglycerides, so not good for heart health, so very rarely use those. Got lots of quinoa, very high in protein, so good starch sauce for a bodybuilder because you get plenty of protein with it. This rice vermicelli is really good. Got organic muesli there, have that on a rare occasion. What's this? Spaghetti. Brown rice spaghetti, plenty of brown rice. I think it's teff and amaranth in there. You've got teff and amaranth, some uh, quality grains, lots of oats. Okay, running low on tricolor quinoa. We'll have a couple of these on hand. They've got a bit of oil, so I wouldn't eat that very regularly. And then there's some corn fusilli. So in here we've got some apple cider vinegar, tamari soy sauce. We've got tons and tons of dates. We've also got tons of these urban fruits. Mango. They're delicious. They're not as Dried as a lot of dried fruits, they're a lot more succulent, they're really, really nice. Urban Fruits, sponsor me, I love you. I want to have your babies. <laughs> I can't say that. Got a couple of packs of these soft foods by Crazy Jack Organic. They're a lot more succulent than you get from most companies, so much easier to eat, really delicious. Whee! We've got some lemons, oranges, apples, bananas, again, usually have a few limes as well. Got some pre-made organic soups. These are fairly healthful. Pea, lentil and pumpkin. And these just lentil ones are my favorite by Essential. Other than tomatoes or beans, it's rare that we'll eat anything out of a can. Here's some pineapple slices. They might be in there for like a year. And here as well, we've got some jam. It's 100% fruit. You know, it's not really healthful, so it's rare that I'll use this. Three or four different flavours though. It's a reasonably healthy tomato sauce for pasta. It's not got much oil at all. A little bit soused. You know, this sort of stuff, it's not the healthiest, but it just helps your good food to go down. You know, you're going to eat a lot more 
say greens for instance, if you've got a little bit of sauce on there to make it more palatable. Sun dried tomatoes, generally use that in various little bits of cooking. And we've got this packaged nut roast, again like, won't eat that very often. Not the healthiest, but it's right for a change. This is good. Tesco Red Lentil for Silly, very high in protein. Sushi Nori, help get your iodine in. Got a couple of different types of wraps there. Raw brown rice pasta. Safe to say we've got lots of carbs at all times. Whole grain rice cakes. Amazing Grain sent us some free products. So, not even tried this eggless omelette yet, but it actually looks pretty helpful. Uh, all our products look pretty helpful, to be honest. This is a pancake mix. Wakame for another way to get your iodine in. Brown rice breadcrumbs, sometimes coat stuff and bake it, makes it just a little bit more interesting. Being a bodybuilder, of course, legumes number one for your protein needs. So we've got lots of different beans, split peas, chickpeas, lentils, all that malarkey. Oh yeah, so chickpea flour, you can make pancakes and things, like omelettes rather, um, pakoras, stuff like that. Just a good way to get protein in, like just a little bit different. Got some tofu as well, red lentils. Lemon balm is a relative of mint, you can make a nice tea with that. Red clover tea, watch the lid don't come off. because. What does red clover tea do? Uh, detoxifying for the liver amongst other things. Ooh, so we've got passata, we've got chopped tomatoes. What vegan kitchen would be complete without lots of nutritional yeast? I use this quite a lot, I was using hummus. Still put hummus, normally it's got loads of oil though. These refried beans, despite being called fried, it's about a gram of oil in that whole thing, and that's kind of two cans worth of beans almost. So a great way to get your protein in, great in wraps on rice cakes, things like that. So these three ingredients, arrowroot, sodium bicarbonate, and shea butter. You can make deodorant. Comment below if you'd like us to do a recipe video for that. Lots of dried coriander, great little herb. Blackstrap molasses, if you're struggling with things like iron, calcium, copper, just do like a tablespoon out, give you a really good whack. So we've got some normal coffee and tea. There's actually some white sugar there. This is for like guests who come round. We tend to go with like the herbal teas. There's a licorice there. Cherry and cinnamon, I've not even tried that. But we'll, typically, Gemma and myself will have more like mint and like green tea. What's fennel tea for? Um, tasty. <laughs> Organic coconut sugar, it's not a health food, but if you want a little bit of like a sweetener, it's one of the better ones. Cocoa powder. And so this bottom level of the shelves, other than this sweet chilli dipping sauce and this balsamic vinegar, it's all herbs and spices. You know, they're all great in their own way. They've all got their sort of medicinal benefits and health boosting benefits. Uh, you know, and it keeps your food interesting, so the more different herbs and spices you can throw into your cooking, the better. We've got a couple of different cereals by Nature's Path. It's the Sunrise, sort of cornflakes, but with ancient grains. Of course, there's a little sugar in there, so not the most healthy, don't have it all the time. Uh, kind of a Cheerios um, rip-off, makes a nice change. And our friend Sarah has got a company, Sarah by Nature. This is a healthy granola with no sugar, no oil. Of course, I'm a Vivo Life ambassador, so I've got their matcha. Macca as well, adaptogen. Got the Perform Protein, this is the blueberry acai, and this is the banana and cinnamon, my two favorite flavors at the minute. Link in the description, 10% off with code HENGE10, woo! Also, Vivo Life's Thrive Living Multinutrient. If you feel like your nutrients are a bit low, rather than a rubbish synthetic um, multivitamin, multimineral, get some of that in your whole foods. Maple syrup, again, if you're gonna have a little bit of a sweetener, this is one of the less unhealthy ones. Almond powder, most antioxidant rich food in the world, tastes disgusting, so don't have it like neat. Put it in a delicious sweet smoothie or something. DHA supplement. <laughs> Whee! High strength vitamin D. Obviously in the summer months you can ditch that if you're getting plenty of sun. Hawaiian spirulina, supposedly that's not contaminated like other spirulina is. Another way to get your iodine in, half a teaspoon of this dolls, which is like a purple seaweed in your smoothie or whatnot on your cooked food. It's not a bad taste actually, it's more salty than anything. ZMA, if you're having trouble sleeping, this is zinc magnesium, it's a B vitamin, it's in a special form. Some people know it's a great benefit. Lugol solution, if you can't get your iodine from seaweed because you think it smells like fish. Barley grass powder, nice little boost of greens. Tons of CBD because I keep getting sponsored by CBD companies. I really rate it. Link in the description if you want to get 10% off that with code Herbivore10. 
this is mostly tons of potatoes down here. You'll kind of notice, like with a vegan bodybuilding, and I think any bodybuilding, you should be like mostly carb-based because carbs fill out your muscles. You don't need tons and tons of protein. You just need like adequate. And the carbs, you know, they fill out your muscles and make you look a lot more rounded. I've been getting on much better since I've been eating higher carb versus high protein. Now the freezer. We've got three different bags of berries in here, but mainly we go for these blueberries from Lidl. They're actually wild blueberries, so they're a lot more uh, rich in polyphenols and stuff, so very, very helpful. More like tropical fruits in this drawer, so pineapple, mango, so we've got some pomegranate arils, and mostly in the bottom here is peas and sweet corn. So in the fridge we've got good old tahini, or food tomatoes, cress, capers and gherkins to jazz up your food a little bit. Got some coriander on the go, cucumber, Way to start on these refried beans. Good old sal. So this scarlet and mustard one's quite low sodium. Some salad greens on the go. Some mushrooms, grapes, a little bit of hot sauce. And we've got carrots, spring onions, and celery. And in the drawer here, we've got half a lime, some Tabasco, brown rice vinegar, tomato puree, another DHA supplement. Here's a vegan horseradish, whole grain mustard, sushi ginger. Brown rice miso, got a green sriracha, this one's really hot. Some oat milk. For my B12 currently I'm using this sublingual adenosine cobalamin and methylcobalamin liquid. And Gemma's found out if we start to get a cold and you use this zinc sulfate actually in your throat, it tends to stop it dead in its tracks so you don't get all that kind of itchy, scratchy throat. It seems to be a real good little hack. And of course my pre-workout of choice, beetroot juice. So this is our sort of um, fridge where we're using the food, but in the living room, there wasn't room in the kitchen, we've got our main fridge. Let's go. So you know, very important, bodybuilder or no, very important to get your vegetables in, lots of micronutrients, you know. So here we've got celeriacs, lovely for a base of a soup celeriac, that's my main use for that. Got broccoli, got monge too, great in a stir fry samphire. Real great local sort of delicacy. Again, herbs are great, so we've got lots of fresh coriander, tender stem broccoli, courgette, red cabbage, most antioxidants for your money, red cabbage. More mushrooms, we've got a couple of peppers, green beans. Lots of celery, which we've been juicing and having it. First thing on an empty stomach. Down here we've got romaine hearts, curly kale, spinach, and more curly kale. Deep into my bulk now, I'm struggling to eat enough calories, so I'm using soy milk just to bump my protein up a little bit more. And more springy onions. Don't want to run out of my pre-workout, so we've got more beetroot juice. These I got given. Again, obviously they're not the healthiest thing. They have got additives and stuff. They're kind of aimed at gym goes, and they're low fat, low sugar. Um, so if you want to try it, Kelo Fit. There's a tomato ketchup, a uh, Toscana sauce. This garlic sauce is nice. There's honey mustard style, still vegan, curry ketchup. They do um, got about a dozen different sauces all together. Coconut water, which I love pre, intra and post workout, really hydrating. <laughs> more beetroot, more soya. Uh, here's a white wine vinegar and more coconut waters. And that's the end of that chapter. If you've enjoyed this video and you feel like it may be of benefit to others, why not help grow our wonderful community by sharing this out on your social media and together we'll help inspire everybody to go vegan for victory.